guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, today I'm gonna to be going through every single mod, upgrade, accessory, whatever, um, that I've stuck on the XSR. Um, I get quite a lot of questions about them, so I thought I'd just do one video, run through all of them. Um, there's quite a few, so uh, maybe put the kettle on and uh, grab a cup of coffee or something, because uh, this could be a long video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you front to back on the bike, um, put links in the description for everything, and uh, yeah, tell you about everything on there. So first and foremost, uh, the bike is absolutely filthy because um, I've been doing a couple of trails and stuff like that. So uh, you'll have to forgive that. I'm not a massive advocate of, you know, having to keep the bike spotless. So um, apologize for that. Uh, and the close-ups are probably gonna look a little bit grubby, but uh, it's a bike, it's there to be used. So let's get on with it. All right, so uh, I think the best thing to do is probably run from the front of the bike to the back of the bike. Um, I'll try and just sort of breeze over everything, but with a little bit of a description. There's quite a few, so um, I'll try and uh, yeah try and get it through it quite quick. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's start the front and uh, make our way up and and back. So I think right at the start, one of my newest additions is the tyres. Um, so I've gone for some Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs this time. Um, they're supposed to perform really well uh, on and off road, um, and to be honest, in the, in the first couple of weeks I've had them, they're, they're really nice. Um, give you loads of confidence on the tarmac and, uh, and yeah, grip really well on, on the gravelly stuff. So, so far, so good. Um, but it, maybe I'll give you another update in a few weeks when I've, I've put them through their uh, proper paces. So, down here we've got the um, SW Motec um, axle sliders. These were actually sent to me by SW Motec um, for some photos and reviews and things like that. So thanks very much to them. Um, really easy to put on, you just slide it through, um, you know, screw on the bolts either side, put the caps on, job done. Um, and to be honest, because I like to go off-road a bit, I do drop my bike every now and then. Um, it's great to have something like this just to protect the forks from any scratches. So moving on up, we've got the, um, the, the fork uh, gaiters from JVB Moto. Um, I went for the JVB ones, I originally had the Yamaha um, accessories ones on here but they don't seem as they're not as chunky not as um, aggressive looking so I uh, got rid of those and got the uh, JVB ones I think they look fantastic so moving up um, we've got one of my uh, I'd say call my Marmite accessories you either love it or you hate it um, probably only Brits will get that joke but uh, yeah so um, little just a little leather holder covers the um, ugly headlight bracket that they've got here um, and that's that. So then moving up, we've got the Brogue headlight here. So the Brogue headlight builder kit, um, Brogue motorcycles. Um, one of the most popular, I think, accessories for the XSR. Lots of people ask about it. Lots of people have got it on their bike. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Um, it is a little bit pricey. Um, that's one of the comments from people. Um, but it's, uh, it, it's really, really good quality. Lovely finish on it, which they've just upgraded. Um, and yeah, I don't think there is another headlight that kind of suits the bike this well um, and fits the, you know, is, is made specifically for the XSR and, and fits so well and, and gives it such a sleek look. So well done to Brogue for that, nailed it. So um, we've also got with that the short brackets, um, which do work with the European style um, immobiliser. Um, a lot of people ask that, does it clash? No, you can just about use them, the short ones. So these are short 3D brackets by Brogue Motorcycles. Um, on here we've got the uh, Oxford Products um, Night Rider indicators. These are progressive scanning, whatever you want to call them, um, indicators which, which slide from the inside out. Looks really nice, a bit like those modern Audi indicators, things like that. Um, about 35 quid a pair and uh, way, way better quality than the, um, the eBay ones you can get. And uh, I tried the eBay ones and they just they sit wonky, they don't look great and uh, they're not very bright. Um, these ones, um, yeah, just like the pro version of those, uh, really good. Okay, so moving up to the bars here, um, we've got the Trip Machine leather grip wraps. Uh, get asked about these quite a lot. Um, real leather, uh, they just wrap around your original bars, um, original grips. Uh, they look really nice, mine are a few years old now, still holding up and uh, to be honest they, they've developed a really nice sort of real vintage look. 
um, over the years. So, uh, yeah, was thinking about replacing them, getting some new ones, but um, to be honest, I really like the sort of patina that they've got over, over the years. So, um, we've got some uh, cheap eBay special um, short brake levers here. Um, I like to go with the eBay ones because, you know, I do drop the bike occasionally off-road um, and I've gone through a couple of sets of these where I've scratched them up and things like that. Never ever had one break. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you need to spend 50 quid on levers. Um, no, I spend, you know, 15 quid. Metal's metal. The quality of the bolts um, is fine. Um, it's not going to snap on you just from pulling a, a lever. Um, I've dropped this so many times and smash the levers into the floor and they're fine. So eBay specials for those, cheap to replace. Um, this, uh, you probably can't see it very well from there, I'll give you a little close up, um, is an ABS button which I've made. Um, so the XSR, you can't turn off the ABS um, as standard. So I've made myself a, a little button so that I can do that for off-road riding. Um, we've got the quad lock uh, wireless charger here as well. Um, the latest version with um, added sort of waterproofing things like that uh, had this in the rain never had a problem with uh, this specific one um, had a problem with the last one but that was fixed so uh, what else have we got so we've got um, the another popular one here is the brogue um, gauge relocation kit brogue motorcycles gauge relocation kit so um, this one you can build your own kit uh, it comes in silver and black uh, back plate no back plate um, basically all it does is moves the, um, the gauge off the center of the bars up and to the right a bit. Uh, a lot of people mentioned that the, uh, the gauge is quite low on the XSR. You have to kind of tilt your head down to see it. Um, whereas this one brings it just up into your eye line enough that you just need to sort of dip your eyes down to see it. Um, and to be honest, it just looks really nice as well. Gives the bars a nice profile from the back and, and things like that. So. What else have we got on here? So we've got a um, just a USB uh, attachment here, which plugs in down here to the, um, the DC adapter. Um, not a lot of people know it, but there is a built-in DC plug, um, a spare one. So you can, uh, if you just get the right mating adapter for it, plug it straight in there and you've got a switched DC point um, for things like uh, USB. So, um, and then also we've got the, the cheap um, Amazon wing mirrors as well. Uh, sorry, bar end mirrors. Um, again, I like to keep them cheap because I like to. I like the bar ends, but being right on the end, you know, they, they get smashed up if I drop it off road. So keep them cheap. Um, I can replace them every now and then. Um, I would have one on this side, but I dropped the bike and it broke. So um, I've, I've got another one sat at home, just haven't put it on yet. So uh, that's that. Just got the standard bar weight in here at the moment. So if we just start moving backwards, then so uh, down here we've got the. Um, the Yamaha accessories uh, radiator guards, um, front and sides, um, and these are from the Yamaha accessories store. Um, I think they really suit the bike. I think I do have mine on fitted the other way around. Um, you look in the pictures and the fins are at the back and things like that, but um, it won't make a difference to, you know, to airflow or anything like that. And I think it looks a lot better this way around. So that's why they're fitted that way. Um, Moving backwards, we've got the, the Givy engine bars here. Um, one of my most popular modifications, I'd say. Uh, get loads of questions about them. Um, it's really cool. I've seen them on so many other bikes as well now, this combination. Um, so yeah, it's the Givy engine bars and the Ibex bash plate. Um, and I've actually got a dedicated video on that as well. So uh, I'll link that somewhere around in the video. Um, you can go check that out if you're interested. Um, so another little tiny modification here is the uh, the oil cap. I've actually heard of a few people snapping the oil cap. That's not why I got this. I just got it um, because I thought it looked nice. And this is a full metal um, oil filler cap from uh, from Giles Tooling. So or Gillies Tooling, uh, maybe. Sorry. <laughs> so that's that. Um, then moving back, we've got the uh, the SW Motec uh, gear lever here. So another product here that was sent to me by SW Motec. So again, thanks, thanks to them for sending this out. Now so this is fully adjustable, um, slides forwards and backwards for different size feet. So that's really handy. Um, and also it folds in, um, which again is great for off-road um, because I have bent my last one and had to kind of pull it back out, whereas this just folds backwards. Um, so that's great. Um, one that you can't see down here, but this is a, um, give you a close up. This is the SW Motec uh, foot extension. So um, just basically extends the footprint of the uh, kickstand so that you can put it down in 
um, worse terrain like gravel, a little bit of mud or you know whatever, uh, and your bike's not going to kind of sink in and, and fall over as much. So that one's there. So moving back a little bit further, then we've got the um, Urbano Bruni. Uh, I think that's how you say it, Urbani Bruno, Urbano Bruni um, side plates here. Um, I think personally, I think these are the best ones I've found. Uh, they, they look the best um, and they cover up this weird hole that was left because apparently the XSR designers completely forgot to do anything about that. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a nice addition there. So just moving up before we go back then, uh, this is the official Yamaha tank bag and rack. Um, would I buy this myself? I'm not sure. I got it with the bike as an accessory. 100% um, love it for the, uh, for the aesthetics, um, but the price in itself is, uh, is a little bit uh, high for, for what it is. So, um, but again, mine came with the bike and, and yeah, I think it looks great. Um, another one of the most popular mods I get asked about is the seat here. Um, so this is, a, uh, this is actually the original seat, um, reupholstered by a guy in, uh, in Southampton. Um, Glenn Moja, his name is, really talented bloke and he, he does seats for sort of motocross riders, things like that. Um, so it's the original seat, um, yeah, it just popped around his house, he works out of his garage, so um, I, uh, I went round and just discussed what I wanted with him, I think two weeks later and £130 and, uh, and there it is. Okay, so uh, one of my favourite upgrades um, I've got here is the, uh, the Olin suspension. Um, so not only does it look great because it's uh, yellow and green, but, um, but it's functional as well. So uh, a lot of people complain about the original suspension. Um, there's no rebound damping at all, really. So um, depending on your weight, if you get into a corner, it can kind of lurch you back out or, or wallow in the corners a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so this has got adjustable rebound and compression um, damping. So uh, linked just with one, um, but just set the rebound correctly and the compression should follow. Um, and yeah, it really makes a difference to the ride of the bike, um, especially if you get the right spring. So I'm quite a small guy, so I've had this um, re-sprung because um, I bought it through the dealer or through the through BG Motorsport, it was, um, next to Silverstone, I think, Silverstone Racetrack. Um, and they're, they're an Olin's dealer, so they have all the springs available um, and I, I had the correct spring for my weight put on it. So that's, uh, that's one lighter than the normal one, I think. So I think it's normally about 100 and... 16 newton meters or 109 or something and i've gone for about 95 um so yeah really feels absolutely beautiful uh, riding this now so what else have we got on this side so um we've got the uh brogue motorcycles heel plates here um another great upgrade um they don't provide any extra functionality as such but they uh, they look great and it's just another great custom part um to uh to yes make your make your xsr stand out from the crowd a little bit um, I think they look lovely and, uh, and as like with all the Brogue stuff, the, the finish on it is incredible. So um, yeah, brilliant. So moving to the back of the bike, um, I've actually got the Evotech tail tidy on here. Um, see, I, I didn't want to completely shorten the back end. I do actually really like the fender and the light. Um, I know some people don't and they want to get rid of the lot, but um, to be honest, I really do like this fender. So I just got the Evotech tail tidy just to clean up the back a little bit. And again, I've got another set of the uh, Oxford products um, indicators on there. So uh, really like those, really rate those. Right, so other side of the bike. Um, there's a couple are on this side that you can see. Um, so I've got the SW Motec uh, bottle holder here. I've attached that to my engine bars so I can um, carry a thermos with me. Um, so yeah, I can just make a coffee at home, chuck it in there um, and I can pretty much grab it whenever I want rather than having to get out of my bag and things like that. So yeah, that just uh, fits right in there like that. And then uh, it just has a tag, goes over the top. Um, it's properly secure. Um, that's not going anywhere when you're just riding around normally. Um, so yeah, really like that. Thanks again, SW Motec for sending me this one. So, um, and then moving back down here, uh, one of the main accessories that uh, changes the, you know, the character of the bike um, is the Akrapovic exhaust I've got here. Absolutely love this exhaust. Um, it's the Akrapovic Titanium. This one's actually for the MT-07. I think they do a dedicated XSR one now. Um, even sort of says XSR 700 on it. Uh, but this one, I got my bike quite early in sort of 2017, 2018. Um, and so I got the MT-07 one. So um, a lot of people take the baffles out. Uh, I think it's a bit too obnoxious with the baffles out. So what I've done is I removed them, cut them in half, 
because um, I tried drilling some holes in them and it didn't really uh, make too much of a difference. Cut them in half, put them back in. Um, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, just rumbles along when it's sat at idle, but if you give it the beans, then, uh, then it's really nice and loud. So that's cool. Um, so what else have we got here? So um, at the back, we've got the, the Trip Machine Co. Um, tool roll. Uh, absolutely love this tool roll. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's way more functional than the original Yamaha one I had. Um, it's got zips and things like that inside it. Uh, I'll show you that now. Right, so I think that about wraps it up. Um, I think I covered everything. Uh, if I didn't and there's something you see that you want a bit more information on or anything else, just uh, drop me a comment below. Um, I'll try and get back to everyone on, on all the comments. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, uh, it helps out. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more um, XSR or motorbike related stuff. And, uh, and now, I'm going to get going.